Hello, my name is David Hotler, and I'd like to take you through a quick video tutorial of a delivery enhancement tool called Nearpod. Uh, Nearpod is an application on your computer or mobile device that's going to allow you to have dramatic outcomes from your lessons without forcing you to dramatically change how you teach. So it's really an uh, enhancement tool that allows you to bolt on to your lessons without sort of having to reinvent the wheel. Um, Nearpod works with Apple and Android devices, your mobile devices, so iPads, iPhones, um, or Android phones. It also works with any computer that's connected to the web. So as you can see here in front of you, I've got a web browser open with Nearpod, um, and we're going to use it to get started. So the first thing you need to do is just get logged in. And when I log in, I'm going to get this main screen. And this is where I'm going to spend a few minutes talking sort of about what Nearpod has to offer. Now, this demonstration is going to be a quick overview. Uh, later on, I'll get into more in-depth detail about the store, join, create, and reports. But for now, I'd like to focus on my library. One of the beauties of this application is that it works right out of the box. So you're able to uh, download a presentation, which I'll go over in another video, and have it work immediately. You don't need to spend hours creating Nearpod presentations. And in fact, the presentations that you do download, you can edit for free. Uh, so it's, it works directly out of the box. So let's go ahead and click on My Library. And this is going to load up my space where I have saved all of the presentations that I've either downloaded or that I've created. And as you can see here, uh, there are three Nearpod presentations in front of you. Two of them uh, were free that I downloaded. So the uh, Meet Nearpod presentation I downloaded and the Saltwater Ecosystems I downloaded. However, Nearpod comes built in with a tap here to begin presentation that walks you right through the entire process of setting up uh, your mobile devices and that sort of thing. And it is great to use. Uh, I'm going to take you through that process just a little quicker just to sh show and highlight some of the features that I want you to see about Nearpod. Um, that way you can get to thinking about how you can use this in the classroom. You can, you can really see the power of the tool and you can begin to plan around it. And the real magic that happens with Nearpod is when you see the student view. So what I want to do is I'm going to take you through the Saltwater Ecosystems presentation, but I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to pull up a live view of my iPhone, um, and that's going to allow us to see both the student view as well as the teacher view. So for this demonstration, the computer screen that you see here, this is the teacher view. This is what you would see on your uh, laptop or your iPod or your iPad or your iPhone or any Android device, really just about anything connected to the internet. Uh, and the, the screen that I bring up here in just a second is going to be uh, the student view, what the student would see on their phone. So let's bring up Reflector, uh, and there's my dog, and I'm going to load the Nearpod app on my phone. So I'm going to be moving this around a little bit so that you get a chance to see. So here's the Nearpod app open, and it's ready for my input. So as the teacher, I'm going to come back here to teacher mode. I'm going to launch the Saltwater Ecosystems Nearpod presentation. And before we get started here, I just want to point out a couple of buttons down here. I can share this with other teachers. I can edit this presentation. I can assign this presentation as homework. Or I can do what's called a live session. Now the live session is what you would use if you were going to uh, use this as a lecture enhancement tool. So I'm going to click on the live session button and load the live session. Now the first thing that I'm given is the pin and this is what I would give to my audience so that they can participate. And like I said, the real magic happens when we see the student view. So I'm going to pull up uh, my iPhone screen here again and I'm going to, on my iPhone, I'm going to type in the code. So K M Q C R. And on my iPhone, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, the join button and I'm gonna go back to teacher view while my iPhone downloads the presentation so we have a couple of buttons down here we have the option of emailing this out 
um, and then using some of our social media to distribute this. This could be something that you simply write on the board at the beginning of class. So when I hit close, I can actually open up this little um, navigation bar and I can see all of my slides that I've created. So this is a great way to uh, see what's coming up. And I can only see this in teacher view. So if I bring up my iPhone, this is what the student's seeing, but this is what the teacher's seeing. So I can, I can click to the next slide. And as I click to the next slide, so let me just show you that again. I'm gonna put the reflector in front. When I go back, it's moving with me. So when I come to this student list screen, on the student's phone, they're prompted to sign in. So here I'm going to just type in my name um, and I'll just do student ID of two. And when I hit send, it's going to prompt the student with a, hey, thanks, you've submitted. And the teacher is now going to get the sign in for that student. And if I had a whole class of people here, I would have all of their sign ins and I'd be able to track them. So I might give each student a unique login ID or I might ask the students to make up whatever login that they'd like. So I'm gonna to go to the next screen here, and you can see that the student view and the teacher view on this slide happen to be identical. So this might be an opportunity where the teacher gives a quick lecture about what's happening, um, maybe introduces the lesson. Here they're talking about uh, some of the learning objectives for the lesson. And on the next slide, we go right into a poll. So on the teacher's view, uh, the teacher is going to see the results of the poll, whereas the student is actually going to get the poll. So the question says, have you ever been to a saltwater ecosystem? Well, I have, so I'm going to hit yes, and I'm going to hit the send button, and that's going to submit my answer. And all of the students are going to be listed here, and in just a second, you'll see that it populates what the students are showing. And one of the real cool things here is that I can actually hit the share button in the teacher view, and on the student view, it's going to pop up with the results that the teacher saw. So if, if uh, all the students got it right or all the students got it wrong, it's a great way to sort of share the results of what happened. And this is seamless. This is so easy. I can simply click unshare and we go right back to, hey, thanks for submitting. So let's go to the next page here. And again, this is another lecture page. So as the teacher rotates or swipes or goes to the next slide, the student sees that next slide. And again, the teacher might be spending some time here talking about what those ecosystems are. So let's go to the next slide. And on this slide, we're immediately brought up with a video. And the teacher sees it and the student sees it. And I'm not gonna play the whole video, but I do wanna show you here in my view, I can, as a student, I can pause the video, and so can the teacher. But if I say I went up and got and went to the restroom, or I needed to blow my nose, or I just wasn't ready to watch the video because I needed to put my headphones in, I, as the student, I'm able to pause the video, I'm able to keep playing the video, uh, and I have control over this learning engagement here. So I'm gonna go to the next slide, that's a video. And we have another lecture slide. We'll go here. It looks like we've got another poll. So uh, what can you tell about the size of saltwater ecosystems? And on the screen here, you can see this is a short answer. So I can put, uh, they are very large. And when I hit send, it's going to submit my answer. And Boom, you can see it. And again, the teacher has that option. She or he can take whomever's student response they like and share it out to the other classes. Hey guys, Dave had a really good response here, said that they were very large. Check out what he wrote. Great, that's awesome. And we can share two or three other folks. Maybe as I share their response, they can stand up and talk about their response. Everyone has their response right in front of them. And it's just seamless the way that this bolts on and works in your classroom. So we'll move on here. We have another lecture slide that uh, was created uh, just like your PowerPoints. This might have even been a PowerPoint slide that was brought right into Nearpod. One of the great features is I can drag my PowerPoints right in. It creates a Nearpod presentation, but then allows me to add some of the enhancements um, like we see down here. Our next slide is going to be a quiz. So th this could have been a presentation that already existed and they just simply added in some of these extra features here like the 
open-ended questions in the quizzes. Sorry about my phone going to sleep there. So let's go to the next one here. You're going to see another quiz. The student view is going to have that prompt come up. Uh, where do most animals live in the ocean? I haven't been paying attention, so I'm going to have to guess. Uh, we're going to say in the deep water and send. Um, and as the results come in, it looks like I answered incorrectly. And this is another example. Teachers are going to have the opportunity to share this uh, out with the class. So here's an example of a picture slideshow. So maybe at this point I want my students to take a look at some of the creatures that live in saltwater ecosystems. And so I have put up in the Nearpod presentation a photo slideshow that allows students to shuffle through at their own pace um, and look and view these pictures. And this is fantastic. I mean, you can see how beautiful and smooth this is. And when we're finished, I can go right to the next slide. Um, this slide is, is to share a website. So you can see here in the teacher view, all they had to do was simply upload the site that they want to be displayed. In the student view, I'm actually going to see that site. It looks like they want me to download an app. Uh, but I'm not interested in doing that. And so I say, no thank you. And now I'm actually looking at the website that the teacher wanted me to see. And this happens to be a really cool 360 view of an underwater ecosystem. And so as the student, I can, on my phone, I can shuffle around this space and I can look and I can see this awesome underwater space. Now, when I go as a teacher, I go to the next slide, I can immediately prompt a question to my students. What is one word to describe the coral reef and the website we just saw? So immediately, I brought in this rich uh, environment where the students could play around on their own and they can look and they can see and they can participate with their partner. Um, and then immediately, I follow it up with a question that they need to see. And what's one word to describe? Um, I might say the word dark and I hit send, and it's going to immediately populate that answer. And just like with all these, I can immediately share those out. We can have a classroom discussion, and you can start to see how Nearpod really lets you enhance your lesson by taking everything really to the next level. And the, the beauty is that uh, the students are really seeing this enhanced version of what you want to tell them. You're no longer spending your time facing the board, writing things on the board, and hoping that the students are seeing them or writing them down. Everyone has this device right in front of them. They can see the photographs, they can watch the videos, uh, and, and it's really interactive. And really one of the one of the best things I think about Nearpod, um, if you really could pick one, is the fact that I can assign this for homework. So just like we are showing this in a live presentation view, I'm going to switch off my screen view here and just go back. Yes, I'd like to leave. Just like we're showing that in a live presentation view, instead what I could have done is assign this for homework. And when I assign it for homework, I'm going to get a pin. And essentially I give this to my students and on their mobile device, on their computer at home, uh, or however they connect to the internet, they can just put in this pin and they'll be taken to the same Nearpod that I might have given in class. So I hope I didn't inundate you with too much information. This is just a quick overview. Like I said, in future lessons, we're gonna dig a little bit deeper in how to create and enhance your own Nearpods, how to take PowerPoints and enhance them with some of the interactive features. Some of the features that I didn't go over, like the drawing tool, um, and then we are also going to go into depth about the store. And then last, um, talking to you about some of the reports and how you can track student progress and data over time. So I hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned for more presentations about this powerful tool called Nearpod.